Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C Man. And I want to welcome you to another edition of the C Man's Cinema Sit Down. Yes, the headphones are on. No, we're not in the C Man cave. I haven't quite gotten that set up yet. Uh, still in the process of unpacking and organizing. And uh, it's probably felt like a minute since I've been around because it's been a couple minutes since I've been around. I've been without internet for like a week, and the last week uh, with moving has just been crazy. And if you want to know all those juicy details, you can check out my update right there. But we're not here to talk updates, no. We're here to talk about a trailer. A trailer that dropped yesterday um, that I've been dying to see for like two weeks now. Um, when I went to go see my early access screening two Mondays ago for Tenant, this trailer dropped in front of it. I, I saw Timothy Chalamet pop up. I was like, ooh, I like Timothy Chalamet. Then I saw Denny Villeneuve's name and I went, Oh, no, run, run, Corey, run. Out the theater, I went, because I was like, you're, you're not not reacting to this trailer. Um, what trailer am I talking about? Why you pull up a chair, man? Take a seat. We're getting ready to take a look at the first official trailer for Dune. That's right, man. Dune is back, and if there was anybody I'd want to give this property to, Denny Villeneuve is, is the go-to choice. You want to talk about two of, like, the most interesting sci-fi films I ever grew up watching. Yes, Star Wars, I, I was in that all the time. But, you know, as I got a little bit older, you know, there were some PG-13 movies that I was like, Mom and Dad, let me see this. Like, look, it, it looks like a big, like, that's a big worm. Um, and, and Dune was one of those, and Blade Runner was the other. Uh, we've already seen Denny Villeneuve take on Blade Runner, and he crushed it. Now, granted, that was a sequelization, but nevertheless, I mean, when you're talking about scope and size, that dude, like, knocked that movie out of the ballpark. Let alone, it was, like, one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. Like, every single frame in that movie could be a still you could put up as artwork on a wall, man. It was gorgeous. And anything that Denny really gets into, I've just been a big fan of. And knowing that he was going to tackle Dune, I was like, yes, that's the guy. He can handle that kind of scope. Um, and we haven't seen Dune in any kind of media since 2000 when there was a uh, television series. I didn't watch the miniseries, but I obviously did watch the 1984 uh, Dune, um, which was uh, directed uh, by the great David Lynch uh, and written uh, you know, by Lynch and based off the book that Frank Herbert wrote. Yes, I'm using my phone because I can't have things on my computer screen. <laughs> um, but I, I was a big fan of Dune, man. Like It was just one of those things like as a kid just this huge like the size of the movie was just so big and the world was so interesting it was easy to fall in love with it and it's been a while since I i've seen dune actually and i recently just rewatched it because the trailer was in front of tenant i was like oh well Ten trailer's obviously gonna drop eventually and now revisiting dune i still really really enjoy it but there are definitely elements in that movie that you could nail better than, than even Lynch had done. And um, I'm just really, really excited to see what we get with this cast. I mean, this cast is crazy good. And obviously, Kyle McLaughlin, who, who played uh, Paul uh, Atreides, sets at the bar. There's somebody that can clear a bar. <laughs> it's freaking Timothy Chalamet. I love this kid. But I mean, like, for me, the thing I'm most interested in is the relationship uh, with Chani. Like, the movie uh, that came out in 1984 spans years you know you're covering so much time that you kind of have to speed through things and the relationship with chani i think is one that could be really really interesting specifically when chani is being played by zendaya um so i think we maybe will get a little bit more with that relationship um but all across the board i mean rebecca ferguson playing lady jessica like brilliant love that um you know uh, oscar isaac playing uh duke leto um paul's father um also brilliant and just anywhere you look i mean when you hear josh brolin doing uh gurney i'm like he's a little bit bigger than patrick stewart but like that'll work um you know batista playing a uh, beast like yeah obviously um like i just everywhere i look i mean the one i'm probably most excited for stellan skarsgård playing baron vladimir uh harkonnen like i can't wait to see what that looks like and i'm just excited for everything that's going on with this movie and what's also really interesting is if you're looking at the cast list, um, there are some names of people missing that are characters that, that, that we should be familiar with. 
And I wonder if we'll get any cameos. Hopefully not in the trailer, but hopefully in the movie we'll get some cameos from uh, original cast members. Because that would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, so anyway, man, I've been talking for way too long. Uh, let's get the trailer up. Look at that, man. I, I do like shrinking down, but this is, like, really easy. <laughs> anyway, no more talking for me. Let's take a look at this first official trailer for Dune. Something awakening in my mind, I can't control it. What did you see? I want more of that. Yes. There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. I love the look of this. So we've seen the images, but this looks great. The test is simple. Oh. You enter in the box. Oh. What's in the box? Pain. Oh man, they nail it! You oh, have too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Yes, this is the other thing I want. Better action. To rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Jason Moa! Like, this is a different. Ooh, Batista looks dope! This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. Bring it up. Am oh, yes! An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. Yes. Dude. One day, the legend will be born. Gosh. All of civilization depends on it. If they show me a worm before this trailer's over, I'm a loser. I can see it. Beyond fear. Destiny awaits. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Oh, oh shit! Go, go, go! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yes, yes, please. Oh, dude. Oh, I told you. It, if there's anybody, anybody that can freaking crush the scope of Dune, it's Denny Villeneuve. And the things in rewatching the movie that really stand out when you think of like movies that were made back in the 80s, 90s, even early thousands, anything within the left past before the last like 10 years when it comes to action even well choreographed things for 1984 looks so slow now and that's like one of the things that stands out when you rewatch dune um when you get to that final battle with mclaughlin and, and um uh feigned um mclaughlin and sting when they fight at the end like you, you've been building to that moment that whole movie and it, it's a good fight but like when you watch it now you're like oh like the idea of Denny Villeneuve doing this or it being done now like that will be so much cooler and you see freaking Brolin and Chalamet the speed that was what was missing man it was so slow in the 84 movie so fast there and also shout out to Sh Timothy Chalamet I, I that was one of the things I was most interested in we never really seen him take on action I was wondering if he'd be able to Hold his own, and he certainly looks like he's going to. Um, also, Jason Momoa, um, who I didn't mention when I was calling out people. He's playing Duncan Idaho. Um, again, small role in, in the original film, um, but a close relationship to Paul, so that would be another one that I'd like to see play out a little bit more. And, I mean, you got Jason Momoa. You're going to give him some badass action, and we got that there. Um, but the other 
thing when it comes to scope uh, that I could not wait for. It, it was to see what the worms were going to look like. And to not only nail the look to the point where, like, it is spot on, it just feels scarier. Like, when, when, when the worms are chasing people in the 84 version, it's kind of slow. I, I, again, a lot of action back in the day was slow. That sequence of them running away, and it, like... Mmm, dude, like, tickled my fancy. Uh, I think we got a little taste of Stellan Skarsgård coming out of, like, that muddy soup, but I, everything in this movie looks wonderful. And, like I said, when it comes to scope, Danny Villeneuve's a guy who just knows how to nail it. Like I said, I mean, the stuff from Blade Runner that he did, every frame is just gorgeous, and every frame of this freaking trailer is... Oh, it's so pretty, and it, it so feels like Dune. Um... I like that it seems like there might be voiceover in there. Um, there's a lot of voiceover in the 1984 version. That's something that doesn't typically work well in movies. And was something that I wondered, would we get that nowadays? Like, I was kind of thinking when I was rewatching, like, oh, I wonder what this will be like without having the VO. Because you don't really get that. Looks like it might be in there, which I'm totally okay with. Um, and the other thing that was in there that I absolutely love is you see Reverend Mother uh, Romolo, I believe is the, the Reverend Mother that we saw there um she obviously uh, that that scene like ripped right out of the 1984 movie man like that was spot on like what's in the box pain and the, oh, the, the needle uh, instead of it being like a little finger thing like an actual like whole that was dope like everything i saw on this freaking trailer is awesome and it got me super excited because it seems like denny is gonna pay homage and tribute to a, a massive cult classic uh, with what's come before it, but also looks like he's expanding. Like I said, uh, getting to see that relationship between Paul and Chani, I wanted more of that in the original movie when I went back and watched it. I think with Zendaya on board, we're going to get more of that. And it just, like I said, it just looks phenomenal, man. I'm so excited for Dune. The question is, are you? Uh, are you a fan of the 1984 Dune? Did you miss 84 Dune? Did you see the 2000 TV miniseries? Did you read the book? Um, I didn't read the book. Um... I struggle with, with the reading sometimes because it's time consuming. And, uh, you know, unless it's a comic book these days, I don't really see it. So if you read the book, fan of the original movie, uh, the, maybe the miniseries was something that got you into it. Uh, video games, I think, were also out in the 90s. Uh, anything that could have pulled you into the world of Dune. Um, were you someone who embraced it and someone that's now excited for what we're going to get with this new version? Or are you coming in with a clean slate? Do you not know anything about Dune? Um, and you're just coming in going, oh man, Denny Villeneuve doing awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm here for that. And like I said, a cast that's just crazy good. Any thoughts you've got on the movie and what we saw in the trailer down below in the comments section. Look forward to talking to you guys down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out and be a C-maniac over here at Cinema Sit Down. Jump over there, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time for the C-Man Cinema Sit Down, I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace! Well, I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, join the Cinema Sit-Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.